Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft video. So today I'm going to be making a slime farm. Now the reason for this is mostly for my next planned episode. I need loads of slime for that. Um, and that episode is going to be quite cool. But also, you know, in general, having a slime farm is quite useful. You can achieve a lot with that. But first of all, let's check how the village is going. So as you can see, I added more glass. But you know, I might actually do a few trades. Um, uh, so yeah, I added a few uh, glass blocks around. I also, uh, um, I think I gave a, put a few more, what do you call them, uh, profession blocks, so job blocks as well. And so we had loads of angle blocks already. And so essentially what that means is the village is now by itself just uh, not generating but, uh, you know, working at it. Um, villages are breeding and so on and so forth. Now it is night time so um, I'm going to sleep so I can actually use the village. So yeah, I'm overall I'm quite proud of the village. Um, I might work on it a little bit more just so I can separate out the villages and their professions and so on. But, you know, that's in its time. So, let's just uh, have a quick look at this. Okay. Alright, and here's uh, Dalston. There's an iron golem as well. Now, let's see which one is this. This is the Liberian. So, the Liberian is kind of annoying because it's not giving me um, that good of books. But uh, we can work on that, of course. This is the toolsmith. Uh, we want to kind of have more than one toolsmith. Why do I have more than one toolsmith? That's not good. Weaponsmith. I now basically, I now basically buy all of my swords from him. Just because you know I don't need to use up iron seven emeralds, which I, due to some trades, have an infinite supply of. Okay, and we have the journeyman. Oh, whoa, that is good. Wow, no way, no way. That is an amazing trade, and I can do with the diamond here as well. Wow. Alright. See, this is what... Uh, wow, I'm actually, like, really impressed. Um, armor. Nothing that good, actually, to be honest with you. But if I want a, an iron helmet, you know, I know where to go to. And I'm also mining out loads of um, coal just to trade with them. Uh, with the uh, toolsmith... Um, um, toolsmith... Uh, what other ones? Weaponsmith and armorsmith. Just um, to a... Uh, to level them up so I can get better stuff from them. But, not, but apart from that, you know, well, what was this guy? Yeah. Apart from that, uh, the village is going great. I'm getting good trades, as you can see. Um, let me actually sell some stuff to where's the librarian. You can see they're breeding um, as well. Maybe I. Hmm. That is amazing, though. Some of those deals are really good. Here's the librarian. Let me sell him some paper. Whoop. Let me sell him some books. And you get experience from this as well. So, so what also why aren't any of them like the fletchers? Because I would like to buy arrows, and also uh, well, I need an iron chest plate, and also uh, you know sell my feathers as well. I think that's what you do with um, the fletchers. But all in its time, I suppose. So, like I said, we're going to be um, building out an iron farm. We're building an iron farm today. Now, uh, not an iron farm, a slime farm. Ouch. The first step of that is to find a slime chunk. Now, I did like half cheating, so I already know where a slime chunk is because um, I was around there and uh, slime started spawning in. So you might have noticed, I think it might have been an episode. Whoa, I can. Whoa, okay. Um, what's that? Oh, I don't need that. So it might have been in a previous episode where I was just going down my mine and then slime spawned and I killed the slime. <coughs> So I already know that uh, one of the slime uh, chunks down there is a slime chunk. Now, which one it is exactly, I don't know. So I've opened up a mapping tool on my other, uh, on another window, and I'm going to check. Let me just put some stuff away, and put away all the emeralds. So I'm going to check around and see uh, which chunks or chunk is a. Uh, Slime chunk, so let me just do that quickly. Let me just go down. Actually, let me step out. One second. So, let me see. 215 minus 12. 
Okay, so if I go down, 2 on 5 minus 12 is where the slime chunk is. Okay, one second. Let me just let me first actually go down properly to my mine. 20457. That's interesting because the slimes are properly one second two one four fifty seven. Is that this So I'm currently at two oh four fifty seven. Okay, let me just uh, open up um, a tool to find out where my slime chunks are because like I said I found slimes around there. So actually let me let me go there. Oh yeah, two one is that two one five uh two one two thirty nine. Okay, so I believe if I press F3G and let me press F3, this here is a slime chunk because, like I said before, I did find uh, I did find slime spawning in around here. So slimes typically spawn in uh, or do spawn in f below 40. So y equals 40, that is where they spawn in. So there's several steps, first of all, that you need to do um, in order to uh, get uh, a slime farm up and running. So first of all, you need to get a room or several rooms which are as large as this. And you also need to find some mechanism of having the slimes actually flow down into the killing area. So my killing area, you might have noticed I had some magma blocks in my inventory, but they're away for now. My killing area, okay, I need to be careful with any some mobs okay so my killing area is just going to be slime uh, magma blocks I'm gonna have a minecart with a hopper going around and then a hopper and then a double chest quite simple really and then that's essentially it so I'm gonna have I'm gonna start digging out a few rooms and uh, I'll see you when I do that okay so as you can see I have cleared out um, a room from uh, of a chunk of the slime chunk. So what you want to do is you want to be making like a set of three block high rooms. Of course, 16 by 16, as you can see here, and that essentially is where your slimes will spawn. So I've done my first room at sorry, wrong button. I did my first room at just under uh, just under y equals 40. So you can see when I jump is uh, 39, and then the top block here is 40. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put down some water just to see whether I have an efficient system. No, I don't. Okay. Right, because um, ideally, what would happen is um, I can put down a bucket of water and the slime as well, when they spawn, have to flow into like a middle part. So, if I do this, 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 and then this, 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 and this. Okay. All right. When, in all honesty, I don't know whether, whether that will work, but if it doesn't, um, I'm sure we can find some way to adapt it and make it work. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have I'm going to start with my killing zone. So let me just uh, do some maths here. So I am moving in the z direction, 47 to 32. So that is 15. So I need to do seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this is the middle block. Okay. Now we need to do the same thing for the other, the x-axis. So we are two or eight. In fact, it's probably going to be seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How does that work? It doesn't really matter. Just as long as I have a, again, size here, I mean, it can be, I'm going to do 3x3 three three area. Now, what I'm going to do with this 3x3 three three area is quite simple. I'm just going to, uh, actually, I'm going to do the whole 3x3 three three part later, just because the grab one is kind of annoying to dig. But I'm going to just do dig right down into, you know, a decent level. Let me just F3. Uh, I hear lava, so I'm going to be careful. Oh, wrong button. Oh, where's my Aqua Affinity Helmet when I need it? Okay, cool. So this seems to be a fairly decent level for um, my killing zone. 
which is why yeah that's that's perfect so that's y equals 11 and that essentially is so when uh nope, nope i want to go up okay never mind i'll just find my way up that's essentially all the slimes are going to fall into here and we're going to have my maga blocks in here and they're going to die now i think this is my strip mine so let me follow my torches on the left okay all right it's cool and up we go okay so i'm going to rejoin you when uh I have made more rooms. Okay, so as you can see, I have finally cleared out my second room. It's um, literally just one block underneath the first room. So if I um, dig up, as it were, to show you, this is the first room. This is my water area here, which I need to sort out the water. But then I have the 3x3 three three hole. Then I go down, and we have a third 3x3 three three hole. And then essentially, this is going to be the beginning. So this my third room is going to be no exactly this side actually this is just a natural cave that spawned in so obviously um i'll need to work through that but first i'm going to uh put back some of my things and i'll see you when i do all oh, right so room. as you can see i have finally again these take like a fair while to the gap but i've done the third room so you can see a one two three these are um three rooms so what i think i'll be doing now is simply just uh building a fourth room then showing you my uh, killing mechanism now that doesn't mean i need to kind of block out all um some other areas as well but we'll work on that of course later on so uh see you soon i suppose okay so i went back to see the toolsmith and look at these trades so obviously this is the one i used before Hui. okay the unbreaking two isn't good but like instead of using a diamond or three diamonds i can just use an emerald for an efficiency two unbreaking two pickaxe so that is definitely good of course i'm just gonna are you serious? Come on, man. I also need another pickaxe. Alright, well, it does seem that uh, the toolsmith is a bit slow in restocking, which is a shame. Is that no, that's a cleric? I want the Fletcher. Is that the Fletcher? No, that's not the Fletcher. Ah, okay. I do need a Fletcher as well, just because um, I think I can sell him feathers and I can buy from him arrows. Uh, but of course uh, we will need to wait and see so that's the armor I don't want to level up the armor um right now actually you know what? I might as well just to see but then again it is that's expensive you know okay but I do have plans for the cleric um if you are familiar with this you probably know what those plans are oh, one other tool smith there let's see let's see how this goes oh dear that's trash. Okay. Perhaps I should have leveled up the weaponsmith. But yeah, I have plans for some of these. Um, um, give you a hint. I've also been mining gold. Um, uh, but yeah, obviously the zombie villager trick is really, really useful. You can see I've got some good trades out. I don't know whether the weapon, the toolsmith rather, was a zombie villager before, but. I mean, we'll soon see how well my trades are going, and we'll, I mean, how many apples do I have? Five apples, sweet. I have plenty to make uh, plenty of enough apples. <sighs> Tired. Plenty enough apples to make uh, zombie villagers, but obviously that is um, we're not doing that right now. So see okay, you soon. So I tried to enchant an eye pickaxe just to make the whole thing faster, and so I thought you know I'll get efficiency and maybe I'm breaking. But it's also got silk touch, which is like I don't want to have a silk touch iron pickaxe. I want to have my diamond pickaxe. So I don't really know what to do. I might just uh, break it anyway. I mean, who cares? It's silk touch. It's like wow, silk touch. Ooh. So, um, but like I'm not really. Ooh, that's a slime. Wait, that's my slime farm. Yeah, I'll always need to, um. Uh, I obviously need to properly uh, mob proof that, but wow, my slime farm is probably like properly working. Uh, let me just. Is it up here? What? Is it even higher? Well, I was told y equals 40 is the highest, so. I have no clue. Oh, whatever, man, I'll just ignore it. Uh, let me. It was actually here, it was here. Help, help, app. <coughs> Ah oh, man, of course I died to this slime. Of course I died to the slime I was meant to kill. 
And how did it like rush me and also kill me quite quickly? I think I have a sword here. Yeah, I have a sword. That is weird. As you can tell, I'm kind of annoyed now. I had 22 levels. I wasn't really thinking of enchanting anything, but uh, still, 22 levels is uh, a shame to lose. Wow, but I always thought the slime was. That's not it. That's not it. I thought the slime was above me, not below me. Um, obviously, I was wrong. And now I have a slime to kill. Where are you, slime? Okay, there you are, slime. Yeah. Say hi to my sword, slime. Hi. Hey! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Calm it down. Yep, that's right. Yeah, you all think you're big. Yeah, you're now smaller. And now you can't damage me at all. What a shame, 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 what a shame. Okay. Alright, see you um, soon, I suppose. Hopefully I don't die anymore. Because that was just flat out embarrassing. But I got 11 slime balls out of it, so that's all good, I suppose. Okay, so I finished the fourth, no, third floor. And as you can see by the amount of cobblestone lying around, I've actually dug into a cave, which is quite useful. So I think what I'm going to be doing is actually doing like a couple more floors just because most of it is already... Oh dear. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's quite obvious. So. Okay, um, I'm actually kind of in a... Oh dear. What? Let me run. Okay. Um, okay, there's my water bucket. So as you can see, I am kind of in a bit of a situation here. There's a zombie behind me as well. Okay. Oh dear. Oh man, I don't want to die again. Oh my god. <coughs> so yeah, as you can see, I did dig into a cave. Um, I'm dead. And more than that, my stuff's kind of in an awkward spot. So uh, I guess I will have to get my big sword. That wrong one. E. Okay, now they really regret messing around with me. But yeah, you can see I'm probably going to do like a fourth, maybe even fifth room, just because they are easy to make and uh, uh, essentially, you know, the more I have, the better it is. <laughs> let me let me land carefully, so I don't die. Okay, I think I ran down here. Okay. All right then. Cool, cool. Okay, well, I'll see you uh, later. Okay, so I've finished my one, two, three, four, fifth room. And essentially, what I'm going to do now, actually, I haven't finished it quite yet. Let me just uh, block this up. Um, so, essentially, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start working on the killing area. So, like I said, it's going to be quite simple. Just uh, a few magma blocks, nine, I think. It depends how large my... Uh, it depends how large, how much water can flow down there because that's what's going to be pushing them down. But I'm going to work on my killing area and uh, magma blocks. I'm not going to waste loads of uh, time using hoppers. I'm just going to use the minecart with the hopper like I did for my wool farm, which it works perfectly and it's also quite cool just how it works as well. And that's basically going to be it. It's quite a simple design. Mango blocks, slimes fall into the mango blocks. They can't escape. They die. They get split into small slimes, they die, they drop their slime balls right into the uh, manga blocks, which I believe don't actually destroy the slime balls, and then Minecraft with the hopper picks them up. Now I'm also going to break this obsidian. Cool. And this one. Oh. And this one okay I need to be careful of this because uh, as you can imagine the last thing I want is uh, lava around my farm now I still need to break those two blocks of obsidian if um actually yeah okay so I'm gonna put the mag my mag blocks here in this 9x9 nine nine area just to move smart this up a bit and then I'm going to Put, I'm going to put the rail carts one underneath and then I need the hopper one more underneath. So the hopper goes here and then the chest goes in here 
I need to make my way, me to make my way into the chest, so I'll probably be like this. And here, good. So that's where the chest is going to be. Hopper. Mm. Hopper, minecart on top of hopper. Minecart on top of hopper. And then here, this is going to be minecarts and then uh, magma blocks. So quite simple concept. I'm going to... Oh no, my water. Oh, I say okay, phew. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my supplies ready and okay there goes my water and uh, I'll see you soon let me stop the recording okay, well, well I can already hear a uh, slime there it is and a zombie as well so you might be wondering why I don't simply uh, no not after last time please why don't simply just uh, light this area up so any spawn in slimes but I thought I might as well if I have like some form of a mob farm I might as well just keep the mob farm it's actually really stressful like being on fire and also commentating but I might as well keep a functioning mob farm a mob farm as well um you know whatever flows down flows down it's, it's all going to die and I'm going to all I'm going to collect it all in my chest so there's no reason really to light it all up and just get slime balls if I'm going to get other useful drops as well so, uh, yeah. so I now have a Fletcher so I'm going to buy those arrows from him hopefully soon I'll be able to uh, sell some feathers I believe because from just my chickens I have a huge huge amount of feathers which I might as well sell to get something out of it so um, I suppose actually not I might as well just keep the recording going and uh, actually uh, show you the plan for the farm so what we're going to do is quite simple I have uh, a few stuff let me uh, show oh yes I got the axe just because I wanted to uh, cut down a few trees because I need loads of signs so I'm just gonna talk about the concept first so the concept like I said is fairly simple what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to uh, have a uh, you saw there I made a 9x9 hole, or 3x3 hole rather, and so I'm going to have water flow down from the corners into the hole, and it's not going to, go flow, it's not going to flow into, into the hole, um, because uh, I'm going to place those signs there, which block the water from flowing, so essentially the mobs go through, but not the water, and then they're going to fall down, maybe take some fall damage on the way, onto uh, the magma blocks, magma blocks give them damage, now it's not too too much damage, um, but it's still a fair bit of damage, and they die. And the items are collected by the minecart in the hopper, put into the hopper, which is then deposited into the chest. So, all very very simple. Now I have more than enough wood for now, which is good. I want to clear out this forest here because there's a mob spawn in here, and it's quite difficult dealing with them, especially in daytime. Okay, but so I also need water. Uh, I, took, I made those buckets just because I don't want to be coming up and down for an infinite water supply but I will make an infinite water supply down there and then we'll work from that okay cool so I need signs how do I make signs again? Oh, of course I know how to make signs so I'll have loads of it actually I don't need that much but I do need more than that okay so I'm going to make sticks is that enough? No, I forgot this stacked in 16 as well. Okay, so it's going to be even more annoying. Okay, let me let me put some arrows away. But it's nice having this many arrows. And just within easy supply. Instead of me having to go and get all the flint, etc. Just bang, emeralds. I have loads of them now. No, that's not where they go. I have loads of emeralds now. So, easy, easy for me to... Uh, uh, to sort that chest to uh, get them and so it's nice just having being able to have loads of uh, arrows just you know being able to be made that's obviously until I get to my infinity bow which should be soon hopefully I'm still waiting on it uh, you know hopefully one day I'll get that lucky enchant okay so this should be everything I need no magma blocks I have loads so what I'm going to be doing now is I will uh, okay you know what okay first of all I need to think of how I'm going to do this which way is it I'm going to set up the magma blocks and the hopper system 
first. So first of all, I will need, obviously it's quite, oh, uh, it's your unlucky day because I actually haven't been a part of all sort. I don't need this. Um, so first of all, I'm going to set up the chest. So it's double chest. Wait, did I not give myself enough space? No, I did, okay. One, two, and then hopper connected. Cool. And then minecart with the hopper. Here we go. Uh, rail. Now, the rail is kind of awkward because, okay, it's kind of awkward because I want it to go round and keep going round and go to within every block. So that can't do. Three, okay. Now here's the tricky part. If I do this, well, no, okay. So that means I might actually need to. Uh, I might actually need to dig another obsidian, and have another risk of there being lava, which obviously I'm not too fond of happening. Let me first dig out this area here. Okay, can it not like hook back? Okay, well, I suppose I can easily make it hook back just by doing this okay well it looks back there anyway i didn't that with that okay and i have the powered track as well over here so let me get out my walk to the bucket please don't be lava please don't be lava okay oh it's my original water bucket well nice having you i suppose and right, now i need to redo all of this so if I, let's start again okay so, starts here, to curve, okay, and then I'll break this, I'll break this, one, two, one, 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 good, 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 and then I'll break this, and I'll put this here, oh dear, no, not now, okay, cool, I can hear slams already up there, well, up here, okay, so, so far that system works good or as in I don't know if it works or not yet I can might as well uh, try I might need another powered rail just because it is really slow oh come on go away well this is uh, incredibly slow uh, over here let me make that again Nope. Okay. Cool. So that's that. And now I will need magma blocks. So if you just do one, two, three. One, 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 one. Now, I did actually forget something, which is the glass. Because I would like to see um, the mobs uh, die a painful and slow death. So, you know, I'm going to get that quickly and then I will come. Okay, so I've got myself some glass from the friendly villager. Let's go all the way down again. Well, this would be slower, obviously, without the uh, uh, stairs. But I might actually put a minecart or a track down here. But I, mean, I am using the gold for golden apples to get super villagers. Okay. Okay, cool. You can hear the minecart going. The minecart system is noisy but it saves you on your iron for hoppers. So, uh, I mean, either or. You can't have it both ways. Now, this should be enough glass. Aha, I have a silk touch pickaxe. So, that is not a wasted piece of glass. There we go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, I might as well put it here just for completeness' sake. And then some here as well. Okay. Now spiders are the only creatures that are able to climb through, uh, but I'm not too worried about that. I mean, force later on I might want to change that just to make it all efficient and nice. But this is this is you know first steps, and so far all is good. You can see how the slimes uh, are actually spawning in, which is nice. That is the kind of the purpose of this thing. Okay, let me just slide this area up a bit. Okay, now 
kind of made a silly mistake because I'm now meant to be going up this area. Now I believe if you sit on the magma blocks you don't take any damage, yep, good. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start placing the signs and the water. So first of all, nope, first of all I'm going to make my infinite water supply. Nope, that's not where it should go. Okay. That and that. One, two. Good, that's all infinite water supply. And then all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to place my signs. So again fairly simple. I need more. I believe it's 45 signs that I need and I don't think I have that many. And then I need to place one here. Good. Jump up. And now I need to get the water system going. Now as you saw last time, uh, it was kind of tough to actually get the water in the right spot or as in to have, for it to have enough so it can actually flow all the way down to, into the center. That's nowhere near enough. Okay so I might have the blocks actually in the chunk itself so if I put this up so if I place the water on this block and one two three again no I can hear a slime above me. So like I said, the farm is definitely working. Or as in, the sliming part is, uh, sorry, the slime spawning in part is definitely working. Huh? How does that work? Okay, now I have no clue whether this will actually work um, combined with the other water sources, but I suppose there's no uh, better way to find out than to start and actually do it so let me uh, let me just check how this is done so one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, okay four, one, two, and one, two, okay and now uh, let's get some more water and place it over here okay now the question is will I if I am here continue once again is this not central I don't think this is central. Okay, well, you know what? There are simpler ways of doing this. And since I have an infinite water supply, I might as well try that. So instead of doing all of this fancy shenanigans with um, like putting water up on top, I can just do this, hopefully. Yep, and I can just have um, banks of water all around. Obviously, it's not the most efficient way of doing it, but uh, you know, if I have an infinite water supply, I might as well. Why not? If it works, it works, you know. And one in the corner. Okay, so once I've done all of this, um, I will cut. So back unfortunately, to the blocks just the water just decided to make source blocks all over the place. So I'll have to find a different way of doing it. So what I was thinking is I'll place one every, like every other one. If that makes sense. So here and then so right next to it over here no nope. one second no that doesn't work because then I'll just have another source block but two blocks off one second excuse me two blocks off yeah okay now hopefully okay yeah these do those do push to the center hopefully that works because uh, as you can imagine it is uh, you can't have source blocks otherwise there won't be anything flowing in so yeah those do seem to be pushing right into the center uh, which is obviously what I want to happen so let me just uh, fix that okay one okay I have far too many buckets okay here we go nope Okay, of course, uh, oh, well, yeah, actually it is falling down. That does um, seem to be working, which is good. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, so I suppose, okay, this will have to be, this will be a, okay, over here, that will probably be a source block, just for sort of how it works out. Okay, well, I'll see you uh, when I find it. Okay, so having done some research, it turns out that actually, 
Uh, mobs tend not to spawn in water, so all of this needs to go. Now, what it doesn't mean is that we need to find some other way of transporting them into the center, which um, might probably just be me um, uh, putting water down, but not everywhere. Of course, that'll be more difficult because I already specified, as in already put uh, my uh, farm um, the levels into exactly basically basically I don't have space to actually dig down and uh, make proper water trowels so there are other ways of doing this so for example a slimes as um, I actually saw this now will automatically just they will fall down that hole however again I'm not too sure whether that is a reliable method now there is another way which is putting down iron golems and then having the slime shackled to that but the iron golems need to be towards the edge so what I'm going to be doing now is just going to research quickly a quick method of uh, actually having them go in so it could just literally be I think what might, might just be is uh, just um, water in the corners and uh, the mobs won't spawn in the water but they will spawn and then just naturally path find their way towards the water and then they will fall down and uh, you know the water will pull them away so yeah see when I think okay so I have a new plan as you can see oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. fall down then skeleton come on I dare you skeleton okay he's, he's too smart or is he down there oh okay One second, why that should have arc of course, okay. So as you can see uh I have uh, several water um traps, trowels, either way, so water spaces where essentially the water will uh I have like a, an area here which I mean I sacrifice some spawning area. The water will push the entities down here. Why ah okay. And they will uh, fall down into the magma area and die. Now, of course, I need to rely on them pathfinding their way into the. Oh, come on, man! Are you serious? Oh dear! What an idiot! Okay, so essentially, I have to rely on them pathfinding towards the water, but there is really no other way apart from uh, you know, putting up some sort of bait or something like that, which doesn't really, you know can't really do that okay for some reason also like some water goes through here but others not and that's really weird I don't actually know why that is um, but happily it does seem to be working so far my uh, tactic let me just uh, block this all up and like I said Hopefully when the mobs start spawning in, they'll just wander, wander around as you normally do, fall harmlessly into here, thinking nothing's going to happen, and then they fall onto the uh, um, magma blocks, and then that is collected, of course, and all goes to me. Um, okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to activate this room by turning it out or turning off all the torches and working on the next one. So, see you soon. Okay, so I believe I have done all of the rooms properly, so I'm going to take out all the torches. Now, the problem might be that slimes don't, like, first of all, they don't, because they're quite large, they don't actually naturally go into the water stream, but I believe, because I saw all those slimes before, that they do still, like, initially pathfind themselves and fall into the uh, water. Now, secondly, my main concern is that because they can swim, they are just going to stay bobbing up and down. Um, for that, I mean, I don't really have a, um, a solution. Thirdly, they might not be able to fit through here. Again, uh, like, I hope they can. If not, I can, like, put down a small platform for them over there or something and say they can hop down and then into the water. Uh, what else is there? I'm not too sure, it's just that it is, this is kind of more complicated than I first thought it would be. Yeah, which I mean, oh well, that's basically the majority of how my farms go, but it's all in the experimentation. I didn't, uh, once again, because I, I am meant to, because I do want this to be a, a general purpose mob farm as well. 
uh, I will make a proper dedicated mob farm soon but uh, first I need this sign farm as you'll soon see uh, once you uh, uh, once I upload a few more episodes because I do have a plan for where the series should go and one of the things that I do want is a mob farm and then for that I need oh, I need something else as well um, which you'll see next episode but first the slime farm needs to work and good so that's the third level okay cool now of course because there was some water running down my train tracks have been destroyed but I still have them in my inventory so I'm going to work on them so let me do that that all seems to be working fine and then I just break this the think there's this one here as well but I already took out the torches I just need to put down a sign wait one more sign cool okay and as you can see after this they're just falling straight down here and of course that's when my pickaxe chooses to break let me just block this off so uh, so uh, nothing accidentally doesn't actually fall into the magma now you might have heard that there are other mobs going around so if you want to make this properly efficient you can um, light up or block up or slab up or whatever um, the surrounding areas and the caves because um, I'm kind of on a I don't have too much time I'm not going to do that and just hope that's enough mobs spawning initially to fall down here and die so I also need to put down the rail carts uh, you know, let me let me just uh, let me do this quickly first. So hopefully nothing spawns now, of all times. Okay, so how did it go again? There was one here, <sighs> one here. Let me break this. I had a few stuff in the hopper. Okay, so that goes there. Here, 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 here. here. No, no, that's not how it went. Let me start from over here. No. Oh dear, how is this already like too complicated for me? No. Okay, I'm just being silly. Can this turn into no? Okay. Right, you know, I, I am being super silly now. I'm just going to do it exactly how I did it last time, instead of trying to mess around. Okay, let's get the hopper in first. Apologies for this. Um, let me just double check the hopper works. Thank God I actually checked the hopper works. Good, the hopper works. You can see some of the stuff that fell down, including a slime ball, which um, is, of course, exactly why I'm making this farm. Do, do, do. And nope, again, that wasn't how I did it because this. You can see um, I am getting slightly tired now. It's not even that late, and I have work as well today. Uh, so, uh, yeah. No. Curve there. Thank you. Okay. And round. Okay. Nope, not okay because it doesn't cover this block oh come on man one here good okay now that is okay and let's put one here and let's get the redstone torches one and two good and now let us uh, get the minecart with the hopper And let it run. And now my magma blocks. Ah, so we already have our first customer. Um, unfortunately, a little too early. But that's fine. Um, the store is always open for this guy. Okay. And the minecarts are going. And I have some stuff. So that is excellent. So, unfortunately, it's not yet finished because in order for mobs to spawn around you, you need to have the AFK around. 
20 blocks away now because this is a multi-tier farm I need to be 24 blocks away but also preferably slightly further so actually wait one second I made a mistake I mean you can already hear the mobs um, dying which is good obviously zombies not slimes but I'm pretty sure that um, it, okay they're obviously not exactly spawning in I forgot to block up this part I forgot to block up um, this part of the farm however if I simply do this and this now I have an observation area as well and you can already hear the slimes now like I said I'm not too sure how it works with the slimes and them falling into the water but since I can buy those of glass I might just um, surround the area with the glass and see how it goes let me just make another observation area so uh, here and one more I believe mm, two more I mean mobs do seem to be spawning in okay oh, oh, I thought that was like some kind of lava freak or something not that my torch uh, you know I'm actually using my super pick too much ah I think something fell into the water I'm gonna put this pick away because it is really good I do not want to lose it I need to mend it as well I don't have many diamonds I mean two diamonds oh no I need to use them all as well to mend this because it is a really good pickaxe please okay you know what that works that works although do I not have one break on this I thought I had Ooh, that is not good okay let me put that back and let me make uh, a uh, pickaxe thankfully this episode is about to end soon because it has been tiring making this episode Oh, yeah, I already had loads of iron. From, from what did I have iron? Did I just not return it? Okay. Okay, dokie. Nope, that's not it. So we'll probably just end up turning around and just putting the whole glass observatory thing because I can buy it and it, and it makes um, my villager happy. So might as well. Uh, you're not allowed in. Sorry, mate. Ow! Cool. Okay. Let's have that. Then I need one more. I don't know. Okay. Okay. How? Oh yeah, of course, because uh... Okay, so that was just me being silly, I apologize. I thought that somehow made my farm wrong but as you can hear there are slimes as well they're not falling down which is kind of worrying but something did fall and now I'm not too sure if I have another one how many is that? one, two, three, four so one more so uh, yeah let me, let me properly do this okay so about this dig now nah, that's too too much around here three and then inwards around five let's say four five and then okay the whole maths thing in that one was just wrong That one's ready, okay. My apologies for disturbing you. Let me, uh. How? Okay, this is just me being silly. So I'm gonna outro the episode here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something as well. These aren't, this isn't really meant to be a, like a tutorial thing, it just turns out that way because that is, um, my style of presenting, I suppose. So. Like I said, this is a slime farm. It's not like the best slime farm. There are better methods. So the original method I saw was similar with the levels, but instead of um, having water, you used iron golems to attract the slimes, and they fell down into um, the hole and died. And they, they used fireplace blocks instead of magma blocks, which, I mean, the magma blocks works. So, I don't know. That's my own thing, because I don't like just copying ideas straight out. 
Um, I like doing my own thing as well. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I also need to also make an AFK area, which will probably be here. So I think I'll just dig 20 blocks out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I wish I had my pickaxe. Sixteen, the first one. Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, and just for like 22, 21. Okay, I'll stand here. Let me just put down a torch. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. I'm just going to AFK, and I'm going to come back in a little bit just to see how it's going and to properly end the episode, I suppose, because you haven't actually seen proof of it working properly, apart from it spawning in and stuff. So. See okay, soon. so on the approach back here, I can clearly hear people dying. Only zombies though. Now, where's my chest? Did I cover it up? I think I did. Okay. Let me uh, uncover it up then. And let's see what I have. So, the thing is, I am spawning in loads of zo uh, skeleton zombies, but I'm not spawning in actual slimes, which is kind of the point of this. Oh, uh, two. You know what? That means sp slimes are spawning in. One second. Why? One one second, it's not picking up any items. Hmm. One second. The question is, why isn't this picking up any items? Now, like, I want Hmm. Okay. Okay, so... I don't know, I thought I might have gotten slightly more, um, because I, I didn't wait AFK for that long. And obviously it's working, but I think the main thing is that the farm has quite a few mobs spawning in but none of them are really falling down apart from the few who um, stupidly decide to wander along but most important as well there are no slimes that are falling in as well which is kind of what I wanted as in I wanted slimes so what I'll do I'll end the episode here and then I will probably refine um, the thing a little more so hopefully soon i will have a uh, proper farm so thank you for watching and um, what will probably happen is as usual next episode i'll work on it a little bit more and i'll prevent, uh, present to you a more or less finished product so hope to see you soon and goodbye